My friend built me a prison and challenged me to break out of it. The problem is, this prison is near impossible to escape. All the rooms are layered with bedrock, making it impossible to break out of. The only way to escape is to complete all of the puzzles and get to the exit. Will I be able to escape this prison? Let's find out. I started by looking around the room I was in. The first thing I noticed was the book on the wall, so I went over and grabbed it. This rule book basically stated no breaking glass, barrels, or item frames. And if I did, well... I started by taking the redstone torch off the wall, and then collecting the iron out of the barrel, and breaking the signs off of the staircase. With not many options left, I decided to use the redstone torch to maybe try and find a redstone signal through the wall. When I placed the redstone torch inside the corner bedrock, I was given an ender pearl. When I placed the redstone torch right here, it started flicking off and on, and made a weird burning sound, and when I looked at the glass, it actually burned a hole inside of it. I then decided to ender pearl through. On the other side of the glass wall were two signs and a piece of iron that I collected. I ran to the next room and noticed a bunch of droppers on the floor, so I looked through all of them if there were any hidden items. And in one of the droppers was a pane of glass. I decided to go back to the room with the signs in the fence and I collected both of them. I used the signs I collected to make a passageway through the lava. I started right clicking through the lava and managed to find a dropper with a single stone button in it. The next room was just a lava pit with what looked like glass on the other side. At this moment, I realized I needed to smelt my iron, make shears, and go get the leaf blocks from back there. But I couldn't find another piece of wood. The only thing I could think of is place the redstone torches on the droppers and hope it activated something. And when I placed the redstone torch right here, I was given a fence. From there, I decided to smelt my iron inside the furnace. I crafted a pair of shears and I went back and grabbed the leaf block. I then used the leaf block to cross the pit of lava. When I looked through the glass, there was an item frame with a button in it, so that probably meant place the button down, so that's exactly what I did. A piston then went off, dropping water where the lava used to be. At the top was a dispenser with 64 ferns in it. I then walked down the hallway and found a drop down. With no other options, I decided to jump down. The drop had left me exactly on half a heart. I then opened the dropper and found four iron ingots. Then collected the moss carpet. Then I decided to break the four orange blocks on the floor which revealed a hidden crafting table in the wall. Now I needed to get through this one block gap and go into the water, but my problem is my character is two blocks tall. So in Minecraft, you can use a trapdoor to actually make yourself crawl underneath and be one block tall. So I used a crafting table and crafted my four iron into an iron trap door. With the button that was already on the wall, I placed my trap door next to it and I made myself crawl underneath. At the bottom of the water, I noticed a stone block, so I broke it and underneath with a barrel was a donkey spawn egg inside of it. I then swam up the water. At the top, I seen a nether portal, but there was a two block jump I couldn't go over. So I used a glass that I found in the previous room to vault over. I then went through the nether portal because I didn't see anything else inside this room. When I went through, there was a saddle inside the item frame which I immediately picked up. Now on this part, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to use the horse in the saddle to actually jump up to the hole, but I actually just found a way to parkour with the moss carpet that I found early on. And in the barrel were exactly 8 ladders. I then went back through the nether portal. I used one ladder to vault over the wall, and then I broke it and collected it. I then looked up and seen there was a hole inside the ceiling, so I actually used my eight ladders to go up there. At the top, I broke a stone block so I could vault up. Now inside this room was a pigman and an egg across from it. I just had to assume that there was supposed to be a block in between so the pigman could walk over and break the egg. And also, there were invisible barrier blocks blocking me from going towards the pigman, but one of them was actually empty and there was nothing. With not really much to do, I started breaking the oddly placed mossy cobblestone to see if there was anything underneath. Underneath, there was one prismarine inside of an item frame, which I went down and grabbed. I then broke this stone block and it revealed a redstone trail. I then placed down the redstone torch and it activated a piston. The piston actually opened up a bridge for the pigman to walk across, and the pigman walked across and broke the egg. 
Breaking the egg shot out an ender pearl for me and I went over and collected it. I then used this ender pearl to throw through the one missing barrier block which brought me into this weird water room. Immediately I started looking around and I actually found a dark prismarine inside of a dropper. I then swam down into the water hole and managed to find myself a deep slate block right at the bottom. I tried breaking it but I was nowhere close to breaking it and gave up and went back up. Now I was going to need some sort of haste or water breathing to actually break this block. I then remembered seeing on my way down a slab and a dark prismarine block behind it. Now if you didn't know, placing prismarine around a conduit like this activates water breathing. So I could only assume the two dark prismarine that I had collected went to a conduit. I decided to place the two blocks behind the slab and the conduit had activated. I then went down and broke the deep slate block and when I say this took forever, this literally took forever. I then swam down the skinny passageway that I had revealed and at the end was a barrel that said put all of your stuff in. Like any good boy, I put all my stuff inside the chest. <laughs> After putting everything inside the chest, I was teleported to this entirely new area. Right away after spawning inside this room, I noticed there were targets on the walls and they were all numbered. I then grabbed the stick off the wall, also seen this massive 2 on top of the ceiling, and also this button that I tried to jump to at least 100 times but I couldn't click. I went in F5 to see if there's anything I was missing up above. I tried looking for hidden string one more time and I found some on the ground. At this point I was pretty clueless on what to do and out of randomness I decided to put the stick inside the item frame. After rotating the stick it had opened up a secret door. Now I had opened up the door but I was uh, not tall enough so that wasn't going to happen. I figured at this point it was going to be something way above my head. Now out of complete randomness again I decided to put my stick and string inside this end portal frame and it was sucked away. It had created a leaf block inside the corner of the room where I could jump up and go to the next room. Now inside this room was a glass bridge going across to a white carpet and also a massive lava pit below me. I then collected the white carpet and I ran back to the main room. I then used the string in the carpet to boost myself to hit the button. After hitting the button, it revealed a secret villager inside the wall. Inside the villager's trading room, there was a hidden brewing stand with a water bottle, which I took. Now the villager was selling a bunch of stuff, but I was just going to assume I was going to need to buy the enderpearl because I had to somehow get up to the top there. Now that I got a bottle of water, I assumed that I had to go to the cauldron and fill it up. I used my string and carpet to go up there. When I clicked on the cauldron with the water bottle, it took my water, but nothing really happened. So I went back to the villager to see if anything changed. And behind the villager, there was a crate with a bow and arrow. I then used a bow and arrow to shoot the number 2 target because there was a 2 on top of the roof. When I shot the target, a bunch of dinging went off, meaning I was probably correct, but I also heard a piss in the background, but didn't see anything change. I then went back to the lava pool pit and noticed there's an invisible bridge going across to a chest. Inside one barrel there were 5 emeralds, and in another barrel there were 3 emeralds. This would be enough emeralds to get me the ender pearl. I then used the ender pearl that I bought and I teleported up. Once I teleported up, my inventory was cleared and I was locked inside this low room. I looked straight down and I see nothing but blue. I started to look around and I noticed there was a dropper above me with a spyglass inside of it. I used the spyglass to look down and I noticed there was only one block of water where I could fall down and actually survive this drop. So now that I knew where it was, I jumped down. After I hit the pressure plate underneath the water, I was instantly teleported to this room full of buttons. I was immediately greeted by a sign that said throw the right item in and you have 3 tries or you die. Now these barrels are absolutely full of different items and I knew I was never going to guess what item it was unless I was given a hint inside this room. So I went and clicked literally every button inside this room which took me a long time by the way. And out of all the buttons, these 3 buttons made noises. I wasn't quite sure what any of the noises meant, so I literally just went through the chest and I did a bunch of random stuff trying to see if I could figure it out.
I even put on this turtle helmet because, uh, why not? So when I was just fooling around with different blocks, I placed down the bell and I clicked it. And on the other side I seen a vindicator that glue up. It also made the same sound that this button did. So I could only assume that the bell was the correct option here. I threw the bell inside the end portal frame, and I prayed that I got it correct. I had just escaped Minecraft's hardest crafting table prison. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. You can join my Discord inside the description, and also at the top is my Twitter where you can send me your own prison maps. Thank you all for watching.